welcome back to the channel i wanted to give you guys today a flip through of my 2022 everyday carry um this is a half letter disc bound system that is currently being housed in my quilted leather cover in the color black from cloth and paper so if you um, saw my original half letter set up like way back when this was the cover i started in and then i went into that light cream motor love that cover but i'm just thinking like new year like new sets of goals like really walking in this kind of like girl boss vibe and so that is why i decided to pull her back out that is the top view there and i'm just gonna open her up and let you guys see her this video should be pretty straightforward Alrighty. so these two things i've always had in my setup these are washi um washi samplers from erica crafts but the other little journaling cards you see these are all cloth and paper things that i've just collected from the sub box over the month this came in a sub box from cloth and paper as well um and i don't know the color but it's just an ollie clip so as far as the half letter setup i'm still in my same black metal discs still using my same clear covers and frost and um not frosted dividers but clear dividers from cloth and paper and um, I just have changed kind of like the guts of it and kind of like tailored the system to work a little bit better for me, which this is the system that I've stuck to the longest by far. Um, and so like when I was thinking about what to do for 2023, there wasn't like too many things that I needed to change. So let's just get into it. This is my trusty dusty name vellum that I made in Canva. I do need to create a new one and I will. I just haven't had time. This dashboard bloom where you are planted, I created this in Canva as well. It has my focus verse for the year on it, which is Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8, and my word of the year. Well, this actually is not my word of the year. Um, I don't have just like one. I have a couple, but this one rooted just goes with the whole plant theme. Um, yeah, and so I made this little dashboard in Canva, and I just thought it looked really nice layered there. And just having that verse front and center is always a nice reminder. Made this on Canva as well. I You will see through here a lot of like florals and sunflowers because sunflowers are like really my thing right now. It's, for some reason lately, it just is reminding me of growth and being a light and just embracing life. And so you'll see a lot of sunflowers in here. This is my same sticky note dashboard that I have um, always had. So um, I just labeled my tabs. These are the same dividers that I've had since I first started this setup, but um, I just have changed the tabs and I use my brother P-Touch to change that one. This was something that I created in Canva and printed out. We have my 2023 year at a glance also off of Canva. And then these I made on Canva as well. So I decided that instead of breaking my sections down into monthly, weekly, daily, we're just going to have a calendar section. And so what you'll see here is my calendar, which is going to have, I only have three months in here right now, but um, each week, like all the weeks will be in between the months, if that makes sense. So here is my January setup, still using my um, inserts from Plan to Create. And then moving into January, I have my weekly setup. And I've already gone ahead and kind of like dated everything and set it up for the month. I've got a section ready for my monthly review, which we'll talk about that later on in the month. I have um, found something really, really nice to do at the end of each month. And so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. And then it just moves into each individual month with the weeklies. So I'm not going to bore you with that because it's only, it's January, February, and March, nothing else after that. And then right after that, I just have tabbed off um, where my dailies start. I don't use a daily every single day. No, it's not straight. I don't use a daily every single day, but if I need one, um, I have it here. Okay. And then we have my finance section, another dashboard. The whole theme, besides the floral sunflower inserts, you'll also see I went back to just being in the black. The black, the beige, the taupe, the white. Um, those very neutral but classy colors. So you'll see that as well. 
Uh, you guys have seen this before, I believe. Financial freedom and generational wealth. I made this a while back on Canva. These are the goals, obviously. I've got my monthly budget inserts that I have created myself. And I think you guys have seen this already. And it also includes an expense tracker. And I also have three months worth of uh, finance information here. Back here, um, if you all don't know, I am a travel nurse. So I'm on break right now. But when I, I just, like right before I took my break, I decided to implement this income tracker because it breaks down. Um, it's just a good way for me to keep and then what I can do is just total it up from month to month and I'll be able to see a broader um, overview of, you know, what I made. I believe um, these inserts are from Hero Plans, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, Hero Plans. Right there. Alright, and then we're moving into my wellness section. Just so pretty to look at. So I've got my Trusty Dusty Morning Mindset Half Dashboard that just kind of gives you some things to think about or journal about. And then it also has the evening mindset on the back. I made this in Canvas as well. It says 2023, do more of what you love. And again, you've got the sunflowers there. Doing more of what I love, you know, mm, speaks for itself. This is a sunflower dashboard that I made as well. Sunflower dreams. I don't know. I already told you guys. It just seems like, I don't know. I don't know. I just really love sunflowers right now. And then I think I have three months worth in here as well. But basically what I'm going to be doing with this insert from, I believe, Simple and Trendy Code, uh, I'm just tracking workouts on a monthly basis. And then from week to week, I'll track my meals and my water intake. Simple as that. I searched and searched for a workout and meal tracker that I would like and use, and it just didn't work out. So I just decided to just use a basic weekly to do that. This health and wellness check-in I got off of the um, Passion Planner website. They have a lot of freebies, so I got that from there. And I think that same file comes with all this stuff. Yeah. And then we're moving into um, what is this? The home section. Y'all, look how beautiful this is. Doesn't this look like a peaceful Sunday morning? I don't know. So I made that dashboard in Canva as well. This vellum that's covering came from cloth and paper in one of the sub boxes that we received. It's a very thick and sturdy vellum, so I really like that. And I just layered it over that Sunday dashboard I made in Canva. Um, these things have been in here, so I didn't take them out. This is just like a cleaning trigger list, but in this home section, we'll go uh, a lot more things. Uh, like my family's favorite foods, um, certain things like that, the zone cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Then I have this references section here, and this is just going to have my trackers. This is from 2022. I couldn't um, bear to pull that out, but it's just going to contain like my um, reading tracker mainly and then routines and things like that. I'm also going to be filling this out and I've used this before. This basically just keeps me on track of the things that need to be done um, like in my adult world, my adult life, things that I manage like maybe not every month but maybe twice a year or four times a year. And so this is a great tracker that came from Peanuts Planet Co and it's the reoccurring tasks insert. And then we have my school section. This dashboard came from cloth and paper and it's beautiful. It says, stop measuring days by the degree of productivity and start experiencing them by the degree of presence. Tomorrow and plans for tomorrow can have no significance at all unless you are in full contact with the reality of the present. Even if one were to live for endless ages, to live for the future would be to miss the point everlastingly. I love that. Mm -mm -mm. What a wonderful reminder. So I'm definitely, this actually at some point might end up being like the cover because I do love that as a reminder. And then I've got my assignments tracker that I made in Canva with the same tab from cloth and paper. You guys have seen this before. Now this is next section here is my goals section. Um, this right here is a dashboard that I made. So I didn't do a vision board this year. Um, I do have goals, but I just didn't decide to do a vision board. But what I did make was this intentions dashboard. And um, what this is basically, 
are sort of like the things that I want to make sure I'm carrying forward in my life. Um, and really being intentional about these things, hence the word intention. So another anchor verse for me this year is First John 3, uh, 18. It says, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. And for me, that just means like being more about what I'm talking about. Really doing the things that I, you know, recommend to you guys or through my podcast, like really being about that and being a woman of my word. Um, I just kind of like looked up definitions and then wrote little blurbs that would help fit my life. So love, the highest form of love exhibited exhibited by God's love for mankind and our love for God. Unconditional love and kindness for others. Grace, the unmerited gift of favor and forgiveness from God, which we do not deserve. God loves us so much that he grants us his grace this is an example to us to extend that same grace to others. Presence, offering my full attention and appreciation to my family, being mindful and aware, living fully in the moment. Honor, holding oneself to a strict standard of moral code, being a woman of my word who follows through on commitments, dependable, operating in integrity out of respect for myself, God, and those whom I represent. And then my anchor verse, um, my main anchor verse for the year, which I already told you guys, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots to the stream. It does not fear when, here, when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. And again, that's Jeremiah 17, verses seven through eight. And these are just my standards of living. Basically, this will probably, I made this this year, but this will probably stick with me um, and maybe tweaked here and there, but yeah. I did download this passion roadmap, so I've already filled out one of these for my um, content goals. So like with my YouTube channel, with my podcast, all of those things, but I put one in here and this is free again from the Passion Planner website. I put this in here to do one for um, other goals outside of like the businessy type things, more so like my family and life goals. And then I also made this dashboard. I don't know exactly how I wanna use this, but the way I imagine is I'm gonna use some sticky notes here and kind of just create a board. And maybe this will be my goals for the month because I already have my intentions for the year set out. Maybe this will just be like my monthly goals and I'll just put them on sticky notes so that each month I can change them out. Not 100% sure yet. And then I, I did this, I was watching a YouTuber and was kind of like following her method, but I haven't filled this out. The Passion Roadmap really did um, do this a lot better for me. So I don't know if I'm going to fill this out or not, but for right now, I'm good. This dashboard I printed off of Canva as well. Look how beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Love the color. Moving right into my notes section. This isn't anything to cry home about. I did get this off of Etsy though. I don't know exactly where but that's where it came from and I just printed it canva and then just notes things some a lot of these are things I've already had and even though I'm not keeping anything from my podcast or YouTube channel in this planner I cannot resist not having this in here so this is just at the back this is my podcast and the dashboard that just keeps me on point about you know what my podcast is about um and what our mission is so that is that this is my everyday carry for the month of or not for the month <laughs> for the year of 2023 i really do love it i've spent a lot of time on this hence why this um is so late but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.